Holy. What the fuck? What? Come on. Just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio. The one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Relax. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking bull ride! <laughs> when I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. Yeah, so they screwed all of us. Says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! You feel bad about all he wants, he still did it. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. Um, this is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Worry about the boat after. You can scour the goddamn coast looking for him. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome to. Just calm down for a second. We can do this in the yard. So... Close the doors? What do you think, no, okay. Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... What about those? Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! We closed the doors, right? No, no, we didn't, because we're stupid. We left the doors wide open. Best plan. You shouldn't ever. be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kimmy. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi! What is it? <laughs> Front doors! Ah. Oh shit. Okay, click, 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 click. That's why I kept thinking I was in the cutscene. <laughs> Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Knife, knife. Hurry! Knife. Who's got the knife? Oh, that, that'll work. Take their goddamn arms off! Goodbye. There we go. Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, we're full of shit. <laughs> shit! Get upstairs! Go! Uh, oh, it's her! 
Nice to meet you again. Guys, help me with this! Quick time for Q is for quick time. D is for event. Quick time event. All we're missing is the T. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Sometimes for everyone. Let ourselves get trial. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon <laughs> Kent the Third. Industrial need Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. Oh, I'm sorry. for squabble. Looks like the honeymoon's over, everyone. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, event, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great, and you're warm. <sighs> I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm really paranoid. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. I said guy for help. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! Hey, Jesus. Ah! 
You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can yeah, you guys have your interesting conversation there. I'm with that. Shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Well, get to it. Sorry. Me too. I get her. Go sit down. Oh my. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. And <laughs> let's joke with him. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got <laughs> this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in there bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Oh, it's possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit. And... You know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can you not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Yeah, I don't care. I want either. you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to me. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. We're gonna have like a round of conversations with all the combinations. Shouldn't people. be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that uh, feeling any better? <laughs> Still feels pretty recently, chap. So no, Kenny feels about as uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it? Did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. Take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would. <laughs> That's because you're a coward, Kenny. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Including the poor little boy who started that up here. 
This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. <laughs> After everything, he's still a bastard, you know, Kim? Hearing that my whole life, Doc. Well, cheers. I probably don't need any of that. <laughs> nah. I imagine uh, it would only make the bleeding worse. Okay. Don't want to get drunk here, everybody. Jesus. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up. Probably still lots outside, though. I, like to, I would like to be optimistic here, but nope. No. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well. Oh, at least you're not gonna zombify. Plus, hey, gun. Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Hmm. That's true. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Okay, that's the first break we've had in, like, forever. <laughs> so, I'm going to stop it here. And, uh, well, we'll see you all next time where we will stare at this dead couple. And, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, bye!